So today we're going to have a look at how we can tune our vocals in Logic Pro X. I'm going to show you how we can tune our vocals to make them sound quite electronic. And we're also going to look into how we can tune our vocals but keep them sounding real. If you enjoy this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified when I release more videos like this. And if you'd like to see me record these videos live, I stream over on Mixer on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So that's the place to go. Links down in the description. All right, let's get to it. Transition in A. We've made a beat on stream. We've got some vocals. Lovely. We've got some drums. Lovely. And we've got some sub bass and 808. Glorious. We've got some impacts and risers and a piano. So that's the beat we're just after making. So now we're just gonna make a random vocal and we're gonna write it down and we're just gonna look at the different ways you can produce it. And depending on what way you want your vocals, we can have it very pitch corrected, we can have it sort of pitch corrected, we can have it totally raw, or we can have it pitch corrected, but it doesn't sound like it's pitch corrected, which is my personal favorite. Cool, all right. Okay, first let's make up something random. I'm no vocalist, but just let's put something down so we can listen to it. Here we go. I came in like a wrecking ball didn't want to let you in I'll take your head and multiply All we had to live within I came in like a wrecking ball Never meant to let you in Instead of using all our force I guess I should let you in Whoa, whoa, whoa <laughs> is that perfect or what? Okay, we've sang our improv random melody, which <laughs> may or may not have been influenced by Miley Cyrus. Who knows? It's only two words, right? Wrecking Ball, let you in. Okay, maybe it's way more than two words. So, vocal chain. Here goes the vocal chain EQ. I like to just safeguard and throw it up to 100. Next, I like to throw in some de-esser and compressor. Okay, quick compressor, quick de-esser. <laughs> nice. Nothing too fancy about that. Just quick, throw them in. It's not what we're here to talk about. Let's throw in some long reverb and short reverb. That's important. I came in like a wrecking ball. And then here we go, some extra delay if we want. This is some Echo Boy. He's a dotted eight. I came in like a wrecking ball. Just adding a little bit of thickness. Now, here's the really important thing that I want you to take from today. First option you have in Logic Pro X, pitch correction, and just put it to response to zero. You can put in what key you want. If we turn on the pitch corrector and the response is down to zero. I came in like a wrecking ball. Never meant to let you in. Perfect. How do we want to tune this, but still make it sound real? Flex pitch is your answer. If we turn this on and go to flex pitch at the top, Lovely, and we can see all the waves here. See all the notes, see the bit of vibrato. And within here, we have six different options. Pitch drift, which is basically we're sliding up or down the initial onset of the vocal. And then we can do the same with the top right, the offset of the vocal, if we want to pitch that up or down, same as. In the middle, at the top, find pitch. We can slide things slightly sharper, slightly flatter. And at zero there, we can see it's perfectly in tune. The main thing I want to look at is the vibrato and the pitch correction here on the left-hand side, okay? What I love to do with my vocals to keep them sounding real, but while tuning them, we can grab all the notes, okay? If we bring pitch correction to 100, this is all personal preference, to 100, you can bring it less. Let's say you could bring it to 50. What I find works with my vocals, works really well. I'm bringing the vibrato down a little bit. I came in like a wrecking ball. Now we're going to have issues if it pitched to the wrong notes. All right, so I've gone through and flex pitched everything. Sometimes you just have to be careful. We can always cut things in half as well if we need to, but we don't need to, so that's all right. <laughs> but what I've done there, and I tend to do with a lot of my vocals, pitch crack them, bring down the vibrato. That works with my vocal because I don't really have a controlled voice. So what you could do is try and see what works with your vocals. Sometimes pitch cracking a little bit, sometimes pitch cracking the full way and bring down all the vibrato. Sometimes you might need the vibrato if your vibrato is lovely and controlled. So let's just have a listen to how we've changed it. I came in like a wrecking ball. Didn't want to let you in I took it and I multiplied All we had to live within I came in like a wrecking ball Never meant to let you in Instead of using all our parts I guess I should let you in Whoa, whoa, whoa Cool! 
now. I think it sounds better for sure. Sometimes there's little glitches in there. And if you just alter the numbers just a tiny bit, it'll recorrect itself. It's not as good as Melodyne. If you have 700, 700 euro, 600 euro, buy Melodyne. <laughs> but not many people do, including myself. So Melodyne is the next level of this, but this flex pitch does the job fantastically. All right, hopefully you learned something from that. I definitely recommend messing around with the response time on the pitch corrector. And also I'd say mess around with the vibrato and how much you tune the vocals when you're using flex pitch. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified when I release more videos like this. I mess around with the beat a little bit more, so I'll play it now in the outro. Hopefully you enjoy it and best look at the beat making. Cheers. I came here like a wrecking ball.